right, guys. They're playing Gwen top lane today. First is an Urgot. And what we have this game is Conquer, Presence, Alacrity, Last End. We're running second wind in combo with D Shield for the perma healing against Urgot. And then we're specifically also running the overgrowth for the scaling. Now, this game, we're going to be 1v9ing, man. With one of my, personally, one of the best, like, AP gems you can play in top right now, by far. Like, Gwen is just like Kale, except, like, you have an early game too. And even though, like, you know, Gwen's early game is not, like, I would not say, like, it's the best of the best. Like, you're playing Gwen for a, a good lane, but more specifically for the mid late game. Um, I'll show you why. Like, she, like, Gwen is literally the most broken champ in the late game. As far as, like, AP champs go. Same thing with, like, Kale. It's exactly the same uh, stuff. I, I compare Gwen a lot to Kale recently. The only difference is that you're melee. Except, like, your W just makes it so that no one can kill you. It's just the same category for me. You'll see why. With the stats, I have like HP scaling. I specifically do that because I'm I have the second win Disho combo, which means I can just perma scale into Urgot. Like I don't think I'm gonna be struggling at all, despite having HP scaling. This matchup is super easy for me, especially when we make it to level six because of the W. Like I can just isolate myself from Urgot away. He'll never do anything on me. Alright, let's walk away from that. So level 1 and 2, do not expect to win into Urgot. If you can get to level 2 first, you can actually win. But if you don't, just chill back, relax. Just don't take any traits. Get as much farm as you can. Once you hit level 3, like things will 100% become easier. I'm going to lose farm here. Okay, maybe I can do the auto reset. Yeah, I got it. Amazing. As I don't have to use my W either. I was like somehow expecting I had to use my W here. Um, but the poke is really minimal. That's nice. Now we can start playing. No E from the Urga. Okay. I'll place a war down right here so I can see what he's up to. There might be a chance where he could go for a reset. Let's see. Yep. I'll cancel that reset. I cannot allow that guy to reset with teleport. He will come back with, with, with items. <laughs> I love how the Earth God's like realizing. <laughs> That's perfect, man. That's a jungler up here. Wrecking Warwick. I might flash. This might actually turn to a kill. This is really good. It's fully focusing me. Nice. I hope Warwick is not going to die here. Good. The reason why this is especially good here, right? If you're paying really close attention to the setup of Urgot, he was actually rotating around when the wave was pushing in my direction. Meaning that even if I lose the fight and there's no kill to be made and he actually walks off, I still win. Because like, as you can see, this wave is killing this wave. So he left the lane into a miserable spot for him. Like he lost a lot of farm here. And that's gonna impact the rest of his laning phase too. In fact, to even kill him, he has to teleport back. That's even better for my lane. So, this guy is not going to have fun. I have 1.3k gold right now. The very second that I can reset and I can buy items and come back, I will win the entire lane. I just need to find out a way to reset and buy items. If I do, it's over. I don't know if we're going to be killing him. It's unlikely. Oh. Okay. Well, that's like 30. We can probably dive to stuff. Good chance we will. Either way, I can get my reset. Okay. This is where things might get a bit challenging. Mm, wait a second. Nah, I, I can't press R, but like the chance of him just shielding it is just so likely. I think he will live. I'll just shove this. Oh. 
I am considering diving this stuff. Nah, I'm not going to. This it's not a good idea. The reason why I press R in short is because if I press R, I can draw myself out of this really bad position. Because at the time of of like pressing R or before pressing R, I had zero vision on where the enemy jungler was. I had no idea. I was like looking around, but I couldn't see him. Um, so if I press R, I can shove the lane out, I can buy my item, I can use all the gold, and now I can come back without taking any risk. So, of course, like, as soon as I press R, like, the jungler actually should, did show up. But, um, it's just a way to, like, avoid the risk, potentially dying. If I were to die there, like, it would cost me the entire lane, so it's better if I just play, play it safe, hit the R button, just walk off. Now you'll see, like, I come back with, like, item advantage. Now I'm going to be winning the lane. Even though I don't have Nash's Tooth yet for the Power Spike, I already have item advantage. So I should be able to win the 1v1s. Straight up. I have just more items than him. In fact, he went for a call, so... He seems to be prioritizing the farm. Okay. His art attacks don't really mean much. Nice. Remember, in the back of my mind, right, I know that Urgot can, like, dash forward and, like, grab me. And if that happens, it might turn into a big 1v1 where he can walk a circle around me. Do lots of damage. So, um, you don't want to get too close to Urgot if you're going for the EQ combo. You definitely don't want to. The closer you are at the target, the, the more likely he's going to hit the... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was very bad. I just moved my W to the right side a little bit by pressing it twice. I missed that stuff. Okay. I'm trolling. But um, you don't want to come too close. If Urgot reacts quickly on it and he grabs you at that given moment, like you're going to end up losing the 1v1 pretty badly. So you want to respect him at all times. This is definitely a dive worthy uh, play here, by the way. Just need to get him a little bit lower, because Warwick wants to try and dive to stuff. Nice. Good. I basically chunked uh, chunked him down so low that it was just like a free dive for, for Warwick. It's like hitting several combos. This matchup is honestly so good, guys. Like... Gwen into ranged matchups is actually better than you think it is. And remember, we're, we're playing Gwen here. We're, we're, we're playing the early game. We're not playing the mid-late game yet. The real power spike is coming soon. Like, we can uh, we can now reset. I think I even might sell my, my D-Shield. Uh, I think I'll probably sell it. There you go. I don't usually like selling this shield, okay? I usually like to keep this shield, deep play, whatever, whatever I use on any champion, really. I try and keep it as long as, long as I can in the early game, because stats really do matter in the early game. But like, Nash's Tooth, again, I'll tell you, it's the best item in the entire game for Gwen. This is the biggest power spike you'll ever get. Um, the first three items are so broken on Gwen. Every time you finish one of these items, you become so much stronger. Like, you'll see for yourself, like, there's a big difference in my damage now. I can auto attack super fast, so I can stack it back up faster too. Everything on this item is broken. I can use the ability haste, so I can spam more. It's a big difference. I always have four stacks at this time. And you place a board down for the enemy jungle. There you go. Nash's Tooth is just... It changes the champion, man. Like, I don't recognize Gwen anymore after you get Nash's Tooth. Like, the difference is massive. You can auto so fast, too. Like, you, you always have four stacks up permanently. Okay, seems like he's forcing very hard. That's okay. I've got Warwick up here. Nice. I think I could probably... 
Could probably do a rotation. It really depends. Hmm. Very well then. I don't know if Urgot's gonna try 1v1 in this if he sees it. I don't think so. Like, I'm prepared. But I don't think he's gonna jump in. I very much doubt it. Hmm. Yeah, it's over for him. Like, this guy just can't play. If he dashes into me, and he even hits the grab, I'll still win. Like, there is no chance for him anymore. I have, like, a straight-up item advantage. So even if he plays it 100% correct, and doesn't make a single mistake, I still win. My stats are just better at the moment. I just win. It's that simple. Okay, I need to walk away from it. He's got MS. He's got a bunch of MS. Movement speed. All right, let's uh, back off. I'm gonna I'm gonna be building to next item. It's specifically gonna be this item for five percent movement speed. There you go. And also build into that one and also that one. Now you might think like, why not boots, right? Why not steel caps? Um, simple. If I go into this item and I build into this item for the five percent movement speed, I already gain movement speed, and I also get thirty AP on top of that, and I'm also building into cosmic drive. So, like, I can get my secondary item faster. And I certainly don't mind it. Used to E, so I'm going in. Hmm. He might re engage. And we push. He still has ult, by the way. Remember this, guys. I box off, uh, it's fine. Still got my secondary ult. Here comes like an important small little, you know, thing. If you are playing against your opponent, one thing that you can actually do is purposely not finishing the tower so that the entire wave goes down. So right here, it, it has like uh, 100 HP left. I just wait for the entire wave to go down and now I take it. This way I can deny my opponent a lot of um, a lot of gold XP because the tower will kill it first and as soon as the full wave is gone then I take the tower well, like, that way I can uh, deny him even more and I can push my lead even more let's go back again go into this item I'll take that item and then uh, that's it let's run back now before going top lane Mid lane is currently dead. If I go mid lane, I can take the wave. I can shuffle this out. Maybe get a catch. And then I can move back top lane. And then kill Urgot again. So let's see. I'm going to give it a try. Don't be shy, guys. Just take the farm in mid if, you're, if your mid laner is dead. There's people that don't do that. There's people that think like, oh, it's mid lane and mid lane only. No, that's not the way how it works. If your mid laner is dead or somewhere else, you take the farm. Like, don't be shy from it. Mid lane is mid lane. Mid lane is on the center of the map. It's okay if you go there and your mid laner isn't there anyways. A lot of people have uh, are scared of like taking farm from someone else. And like, you should absolutely do it if they're not even there. Like if they're in completely in bot lane or something. Or in this case, just gone. Just dead. Yeah, I got my cosmic drive right now. Okay. Uh, they probably know. There's not a chance in this world. Sidestep. I walk away from it. I cannot win this. Now I can. There you go. I had to walk away. All of my abilities were on cooldown. I sidestepped the Urgot E. 
I knew Urgot's E was coming, so I fell back. Made sure that Wound hit me, and then I just go back in. Urgot's E is extremely broken. If it hits, you're going to die most of the time. So remember this, guys. She's going to hit her Q. I'm going to block it with my W. There you go. I'm using myself as a bait. That's so broken about Gwen too. Like, when you think, when there's like a guy walking at you, and like they only have abilities that are blockable from a distance, like Lux Q, Lux E, uh, everything, you just hit your W. And you isolate yourself away from, um, from Lux. And like the second that you use all of her abilities, you just go in. It's, it's like a long cooldown, so... That's, that's the great thing about it. I think I can run into... I want to build this item. This sounds... I've Last time I built Gwen... Uh, last time I played Gwen, I played Zani as the third item. I actually want to try out... See what it's like to... Build this item. I'm going to I'm going to be building it. I like this idea. All right, let's go. Let me quickly grab the um, the red buff here. I want to try out this item. I I've tried pretty much most of the items in season 14 at this point, but this is an item that I think I've only built once. Onward. We could be building it this game. But I might also change... I'm not sure. It really depends. Because we can also buy... Um, we can actually buy Rabidans, which is also insanely good right now. Zonia and Rabidans are both perfect. Nah, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, we can dive this stuff. He's not going to grab, right? Hmm. Nice. And let's grab the jungle camp up here as well. Good. Okay, we need to go to dragon as fast as possible. Uh, wait a second. There will be a team fight on Dragon, a hundred percent. Nice. And they'll take this one as well. Seems like Urgot's still top lane. I think I might get a tower for free here, just because they're like pushing bot lane. Urgot's in uh, top. Sidestep. And we got them both. You could see, I use my W only when Lux throws the ability down. I don't just randomly open up my W and then hope that they are gonna like throw their ability. I actively wait for the best time to use it. Alright, nice. I think this is actually like a like an option, like a great option this game to be going either I wanna like I would like to also go into Lich Bang for the the movement speed slash ability haste. But um I think I might go Rabidance as a third item. We could also go into Lich Bane, which is like super nice item too. I have an idea. Let's go into two of these. And then we just farm up for the for the Rabidans. Because I, I have Codex right now. I don't want to sell the Codex when it literally provides like 35 AP and like 10 ability haste. That would make uh, no sense. Alright, 
All right. I think that he probably walked off. Uh, probably. That's a massive fight in mid. I'll be shoving this out and then I draw their attention and then maybe do like a complete one versus nine. Yeah. They're all pushing, uh, they're all pushing mid lane and my full team died. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're probably gonna lose the nip in mid. Uh, this rotation doesn't really work out. They're all backing, interestingly. Oh, I got stuck up there. Sidestep, let's go. The moves. Two people are in mid lane, and they're probably going to move. Oh, they're definitely going to chase me down here. Yeah. I'll run this direction, because I know they're chasing me down. <laughs> I can tell these guys chase me down. Like I, I, I'm feeling it. I saw I saw mid lane both both moving topside direction. <laughs> nice chasing, buddy. I got 1.9k by the way. And yeah, we got tower secured. Good. No one seems to be up here. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this one. Oh, I got... That's a nice. I got CC'd for almost five seconds. I didn't... Expect that Fiego is gonna move from the right side from the from this direction. So my W was just pointless. I was saving it up for the right moment. Should have cast it like slightly faster. A little bit unexpected to see him. Okay, we're going into Zania. I need Zania this game. There's no avoiding it. I think, in fact, I think I'm... Nah, never mind. I'm going to go for this item. I was thinking maybe I'll go into the other one for AP. Because that, like, stacks up nicely with Rabidans now. But um, I need Sonya. Tough game. We got everyone... Uh, we got my full team losing the game at the moment. So this game is more challenging than it should be. I do have regrets for two deaths that I've had. Dragon spawns in 15. This is definitely a winnable team fight for sure, especially with one guy being down. Lux is top lane, so it's definitely a win here. Like, no doubt about it. It's a Baron call, actually. But yeah. Yeah, definitely a Baron Call. Without a doubt, like, this is 100% a Baron Call. Because they're dead for, like, uh, five seconds still. We just gotta move and, like, do it instantly. We have the damage needed to do it. It's the beauty about Gwen, man. You have enough damage, believe it. Believe it or not. Does he have Smite? He does not have Smite. Yeah, we've got what we were looking for. What happens next, I get to decide. Team fight is not really needed. It would be very bad if my teammates die now after taking Baron buff, but yeah. Hey, Ken, thanks so much for the subprime, by the way. Thank you for the subprime, man. Welcome to the sub family, bro. I'm 
going in. I'm not scared of anything. Oh, sure. Okay, next. I'm too strong right now. I will not die by anyone. Let's go. I have my ult back in 25 too. GG man, this is Gwen. Literally. Hey, uh, anyways, this is Gwen Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.